We are here as our leader Lothaji has briefed you. We are here with three Lok Sabha MPs, one Ras Sabha MP, all together four MPs, with two general secretaries of the party. And we are here just to assess the situation in Nagaland because Nagaland is long trending demands for peace in Nagaland is pending and it has it has not been resolved and most of the peoples wants peace in Nagaland and as well as we also want peace in Nagaland so just to study and know the long pending demand of peace in Nagaland, we have come here to assess the situation and to hear the views of different organizations, social organizations, NGO. And we are hearing it. Before this pre press meet, we have heard two of them. And after this press meet also, we will hear views of two, three or more NGOs and the civil societies. So just, I wanted to brief you that this is a long pending demand of Nagali. And we want a permanent solution, a long lasting solution of this issue. It has to be addressed. If it is not addressed properly, it's not possible. And that is the reason that for last several years it has not been resolved. In the election, it was committed in 2018 election there was a commitment to the people of peoples of Nagaland that this election is for solution, election for solution. But after completion, most, I think uh, five years, almost five years is going to be completed and no solution has come. And the role of state government is very vital in this regard. And so far, I think that the role of the state government has become like a messenger, collecting information, sending to the other party and bringing information from there and bringing yes, no. This is not the role of the state government because ultimately the state government has to act for the peace in Nagala. And what we feel that state government is not doing properly, not handling it properly. Ultimately the 2000 election was for the state government. And that this, this was the commitment that election for solution and that solution has not come. So naturally the peoples of Nagaland feels betrayed because they believed on this commitment and they voted for the state government. And the peace process was started in 1960s when leader Jayaprakash Narayan later on he became Lok Nayak Jayaprakash Narayan after the 74 movement. He was named as Lok Naik, most popular mass leader of the country. So he started the peace process. He intensively visited Nagaland, gathered information. It was a three-man committee 
headed by him. He can't hear for long. He assessed the situation. He gave a suggestion to the government, but nothing has been. So, if you want any solution to this Naga problem, we will have to consult all the stakeholders, all the groups, and accommodate and address their concerns and issues. Unless it is not done in a proper way, it can't be. And we believe we are a party of which we emerged from the 1974 movement of Jabal Kashmir. Our Chief Minister of Bihar, Nitish Kumar Ji, our leader of the party, he has also been active participant of that. He was also a student at that time of Engineering College, Patna Engineering College. We all were a student at that time. And we participated and from the, that JP movement, that was a non-violent movement. And through non-violence, we changed the situation. Jayaprakash Narayan changed the situation of the whole country. Scenario. After that movement only, the scenario of the country has changed. Now the other, other parties are coming. Before that, only one party was ruled. The country was ruled by only one party. So, we all are followers of Jagar And that's why we have come here. I mean, you all must be knowing that our leader Nitish Kumar Ji took charge of Bihar in 2005, November 2005. And before that, before he took the charge of Bihar, Bihar was warning. In last 15 years, 118, 118 maskers were in Bihar. And this, with the commitment, when he came into power, he gave a slogan, Justice with Development. This was his slogan. And he has done it. So, the commitments are to be made for the public, to be fulfilled. And here we see in Nagaland, that commitments are not fulfilled. And that is the reason that solution has not been found. We have not reached to a final solution and long-lasting permanent peace solution. So our Egypt is only to assess that situation. And we will raise it parliament, we will analyze it. And after analyzing it, we will raise the issues so that final, permanent, long-lasting peace is restored in the Nagaland. Because everybody in Nagaland also wants peace. <coughs> and it can be done only by good governance. Like our Chief Minister Nitish Kumar Ji has done. So the good governance can only give a result to this problem. So this is the, our motive to come to Nagaland. I have briefed that and just I want to say in last and only thing I want to say that if you want, Japrakash Narayan JP is very popular in Nagaland. Everybody respects him. And if everybody respects him, the tribute, real tribute to Japrakas Narayan will be if we reach a permanent and long-lasting solution of Nagaland and that is the peace in Nagaland. As I have said earlier, that every stakeholders, every groups, every one should be consulted for final agreement for fine, reaching on final agreement point. So far our stand is concerned, you all must be knowing that the win 370 was abrogation will for 370, we opposed it. We strongly have to oppose it. It's on record. 
वी अपोज दी तीन तलाक बिल इन पार्लियामेंट इवन टूडे वी आर अपोजिंग द कॉमन सिविल कोड बिकॉज आवर व्यू इज दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस ए कॉमन सिविल कोड इन द कंट्री यू हैव टू कंसल्ट ऑल द स्टेक होल्डर्स said you that we will raise it we will analyze the situation uh, problems here we will raise it in parliament nobody can stop raising our voice in parliament we have a voice there so we will raise it in parliament and we will ask the government of india to come to a conclusion after consulting all the stakeholders all the political parties all the groups in nagaland and come to a final conclusion i have me i have made two of them before this speech me that is naga people's movement for human rights and second is the naga ho ho we have made them in the morning and now after this press meet we will meet enpo and gnf